When we install a custom car audio system, we of course need to strip away the wire insulation in order to connect different wires to the amplifiers and other devices within the system. For smaller wires, we can obviously use normal wire strippers in order to remove that insulation. But what about when we have these bigger wires? Obviously these aren't going to fit into our normal wire stripper. There are a couple of different ways to remove the insulation from these large wires, but it can be time consuming and it seems like it never fails that you end up cutting some of the strands of wire. What if I told you that there was a tool that allowed us to strip that insulation in seconds and get a really clean cut? That, my friends, is coming up. There are a couple of different ways to strip wire insulation away from these larger wires. Now I have an 8 gauge wire here, a 4 gauge, and a 0 gauge. And before we get into using this specialized tool, I want to talk about some of the more traditional methods. Links to all of these different tools that I'm showing you guys in this video are available down in the video description. The first kind of traditional method that I've seen used is to use cable cutters like this in order to strip away that large insulation. Now if you guys are not familiar familiar with this tool, this is a nice set of Klein cable cutters. These work extremely well, as I'll show you here, for cutting large cable. But that is what these are designed to do. The way you can use these in order to strip away some insulation is you put it on like so, you kind of apply light pressure and you rotate the wire around and then you just kind of want to push it off like so. Now this works, but it's a little time consuming. As you can see, you have to spin the wire around multiple times. And if we zoom in here, you can see that it leaves some damage on the wire. We also lost quite a few strands here. Another option, and this is what I used to prefer, is using a nice sharp Ulfa knife. What you'll do with this is you'll slowly work your way into the insulation. And again, you have to spin the wire around as you go, and you have to use care not to cut too far through the insulation. Once you get far enough through the insulation, you can kind of work it back and forth and kind of break it apart. And if you have a spot like this, like I did, you can kind of trim that away. But as we pull it off, looks something like this. So the advantage of using this Ulfa knife to do it is we don't really harm any of the wires, but obviously it's time consuming. So let's talk about this specialized tool here. This is the Jokari cable cutter. And you guys should know there's a couple of different variations of this particular tool. You wanna use the one that I have linked for you guys down in the video description. At first glance, obviously we have this yellow case with these red and blue accents. On the back side, these blue accents actually kind of have a tactile feel to them. They feel like rubber, it gives you a nice grip on the device. The same for the blue here, it's this nice soft little push button. You can see we have this dial on the back side and then we also have this motion here. And if you look inside there, you can see a blade. When we turn this dial, what happens is it makes that blade come further out. With the dial turned all the way, that's the blade in its fully extended position. And then by turning the dial the other direction all the way, it fully retracts that blade into the body. Now the purpose of having that adjustment is so that we can adjust for the different thicknesses of insulation on our wire. The other thing to notice is that this blade is free to rotate. It actually rotates a full 360 degrees. The reason for that blade rotation is what we're going to do is we're actually going to sandwich the wire in here like so. And then when we spin around the wire, it allows the blade to guide itself so that it cuts perfectly. So obviously when we sandwich the wire in here and spin it around, it's going to cut that insulation and we can remove it. But there is kind of a particular way that you need to use this. So I'm going to give you guys the tips that you need to get the best result. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is adjust the blade height. What I recommend that you guys do is make it so that the blade goes about 95% of the way through the insulation, but not completely through because you don't want it to damage the wiring. Now the next tip is, see the high point of the blade? That is the sharp side. So right now the sharp side is facing this direction towards me. I want the sharp side to actually face the other direction when we start this cut, so I can kind of give it a shake like that, and you can see now the sharp side is pointing this way. I find that this is important because then when we go to start the cut, the blade doesn't have to rotate itself around, it's already ready to go. So now what I can do is I can sandwich my wire in here like so, and I know the blade is facing this way, so I'm going to push the cut that way and I'm gonna spin around a couple of times. Now here's the trick. You don't want to push this button and remove it from the wire at this point. You wanna keep the tension on it, and you actually want to just 
push away towards the end of the wire. And what that does, as you can see, is it has this cut here from going around, but then it also makes a cut in that direction. By making this cut in this direction, I can get my peel kind of started, and then we just peel it away, and there we go. Now we have a perfectly stripped wire. That was the zero gauge. Let's see how it works on the four gauge. I've adjusted the blade height. We'll spin around and pull. And now we can strip it away. There we go, another perfectly stripped wire. Let's do our eight gauge. Give it a spin, give it a pull. There we go. Three perfectly stripped wires, each done in just a matter of seconds using that tool. Now don't forget there are a couple of different versions out there. I've tried them. The one that I've linked below is the one that I'm using in this video and that I like the best. I can't get over how quick this thing is. It's so simple to just load that wire in, give it a few spins and a strip, and then pull that insulation away. If you're new here, I have some other specialized wiring videos that you can check out here on screen, and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. A special thanks to Bernard, John, Brian, Ali, Jeremy, Doug, Steve, Emmanuel, Jerry, and the rest of the Patreon membership team. A big thanks to those guys for being part of the team and making these videos possible. Thank you for watching.